What I'm about to say is going to be really hard to accept, but it is the truth. American Christians have no idea what it means to be persecuted for Jesus Christ. And Jesus Christ says if they persecuted him, they will persecute us. And unfortunately, Jesus Christ did not die so that we could live a comfortable life. He died for redemption, salvation, reconciliation. So he doesn't promise that we will live a nice, comfortable life. And it does break my heart to see the things that people in Afghanistan are doing. And I pray continuously for them. Understand that when Jesus died, between when Jesus died and Constantine legalized Christianity, there was roughly 200 years of severe persecution. But the thing that you notice about during the persecution were other people that were not believers when they saw that people were willing to lay down their life for the name of Jesus Christ it actually caused them to convert to Christianity because of the faith that they had I want to encourage you out there if you are in America and you're sitting on your comfortable couch or in your car or you're sitting in front of AC take some time to pray and fast for our brothers and sisters in Christ on the other side of the world that are literally dying for the name of Jesus Christ. The question gets asked a lot, if God is a sovereign good God, why would he allow all of this to happen? And unfortunately, the answer is free will. He cannot make us choose to love him or to obey him and there will be bad people in this world that do bad things understand that because we're living in the end times which was already foretold in the book of revelation jeremiah and isaiah it says in the last days the earth will be moaning and groaning pains meaning sin will abound much the world is coming to an end yet and still he sent jesus christ to die on the cross for our sins. He sent Holy Spirit to direct us and guide us during these times. And I wanna encourage you, during these hardships, pray like never before. America is not exempt. Persecution will happen in America. And the question is, are you willing to lay down your life for Christ?